everyone. So it's the middle of the night and for some reason tonight I'm just having a lot of trouble sleeping. Um, I don't really know what it is. I've done everything that I know to do to relax myself. I took a bath, I watched a movie, I tried to read, I even got online to see who was on AIM this late and just nothing is working, nothing's relaxing me. My kitten is like cuddled up in bed fast asleep and I just, it's, I'm not getting there. I'm not getting sleepy, you know? And so I started thinking about what I used to do in college because I had really bad insomnia. And it's kind of gotten better and I think part of that is that when I was in college, my three roommates were all very, very late night owl people. My house literally wouldn't even settle down to start going to sleep till like three o'clock in the morning at the earliest. And now I live with Blair and she goes to bed kind of early. So I think that might have something to do with it. Like I'm a little bit more of a chameleon when it comes to my schedules and my routines and the people I live with. So I started thinking about what I used to do when I couldn't sleep at night. And I realized that that's why YouTube started. That's why I started making videos. I would film in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. I would turn the camera on and just do makeup tutorials or random glitter gossips. And thinking about that, and like how I felt back then kind of brings back a lot of like really good memories. But I think that the beauty community on YouTube has changed a lot in the last two and a half years. And I have really great happy memories associated with like when I first started making videos. And I think that people were a lot kinder back then. And I feel bad because I get emails all the time from girls that are trying to start making videos and they're just like, I can't handle the hate. I don't know how you do it. And I think that I didn't have that when I started making videos and I think that really helped me have the encouragement to keep going. I think that people need to remember that, it's that like all of the beauty girls, like we're people. I just kind of wanted to say that for those of you that are trying to make videos or are wanting to but are kind of scared like about the hate, just I would just do it if I were you. It's such a great thing if you can get through that. That is not even what this video is about. I am sitting here in my pajamas because I have, am having insomnia tonight. And so I just decided I would turn on my camera. Now I'm rambling about people that want to start making videos. The weird thing is I went to a workout class earlier this evening. And normally when I go to workout classes, I'm really, really, really tired. And I sleep really well that night. And my muscles are sore. And I sleep really, really heavy and really deeply. And for some reason it had like the opposite effect on me today. And I am just... I don't think I'm going to go to sleep anytime soon. One of the reasons why I've been having trouble sleeping the last couple nights is because there has been an owl outside of my window. And it scares me because I tweeted the very first night it happened, which was a while ago. It was like a week or two ago. And a bunch of pe people tweeted me back something about like that it has to do with aliens. So I looked it up and apparently it's like one of the signs that like you're being watched by aliens or something. I don't even know if I believe in aliens, but it still just like creeped me out. Like I kind of get scared about stuff like that. And regardless of like whether it means anything or not, I'm like, why is there an owl outside of my apartment in LA? Like, are owls native to LA? I have no idea. I don't even know. I got like a little bit of scared over that and then I just couldn't sleep and nothing was really relaxing me. But I figured that this would and I think it already is. Like, I'm just feeling myself like relax just talking to you guys, which might sound really weird to those of you that like can't imagine just talking to a camera, but... For some reason it's like therapy for me to be able to make videos for you guys. And I think like nights like tonight when I start thinking back on like the last two and a half years and how long I've done this for and everything, it just makes me like realize like how much I love it and how much I really appreciate you guys. Sometimes I get busy and I don't put up as many videos as some of you guys want. I just realized I'm talking like really slow and quietly. It's because Blair's bedroom is literally like I share that wall with her. See where I have like a little hallway that goes back? That's like Blair's room on the other side. So I don't want to wake her up because we can hear each other when we're talking and filming and it is the middle of the night so I don't want to wake her up. My bedroom is kind of weirdly shaped. Like I have like the square part that's my bedroom and then I have that really long hallway that goes back. And then the door you can see is like a little like half closet that I have all my makeup like stacked up in. Um, although I'm going to move it all down because we have an office downstairs. We're turning into like a beauty closet and we're putting all of both of our makeup down there. We'll do a tour like once it's all done. And then on the other side, like on this wall, um, is my bathroom and then my closet's inside of my bathroom. And then if you go straight back, like maybe five more steps, that's like really long hallway. It's like absurd. Um, you hit the door, my bedroom door. And then if you go out, Blair's door is like right next to it. I have like a gorgeous view out of these windows. So I was really excited about my room. Like it's small. It's smaller than Blair's by a couple square feet or like one foot in each direction. But um, I just liked the way it was set up like a lot. It was a very unplanned video, like very like impromptu, impromptu, imprompt, yeah, impromptu video, yeah, yeah, okay. 
He looks like such like a fluffy little bunny. He's so cute. He's like the cutest little kitten in the whole world. A little deaf kitten. Oh, so cute. I got a new camcorder. This one's not it. This is my normal one. This is the Canon uh, Vixia HF20. And I got the Canon Vixia HF21, um, which is the same camera, but it's like the newer version of it. Because I've had this one for like close to two years. And I've noticed the quality has diminished recently. I haven't changed any settings, but just like the picture has been fuzzier. I'll be playing around with that and trying to like, hopefully the white balance on that will be better too because my videos have been kind of orangey pink lately. And I don't really know how to fix that because I've tried to white balance it. But um, hopefully that will help the video quality for like tutorials and stuff like that. That's it. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk about. This is a very like unscheduled video and I'm gonna try. I think this actually has helped. And so I think I actually feel a little bit calmer now. So I think I'm gonna go wash my face and brush my teeth again and just um, try to relax for the rest of the night, try to get a little bit of sleep. And um, tomorrow I'm probably gonna film some actual videos. <laughs> and not that this isn't an actual video, because I'm sure for those of you that are can't sleep right now either, it's something to entertain you. Probably gonna upload this right now. So for those of you that it's also the middle of the night and you can't sleep, I hope you guys enjoy. And for those of you that it's the middle of the day, live on the other side of the country, um, have a great day and a great rest of the night. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being supportive. And good night, everyone. Bye.